Hey, uh, we know mountain communities are already dealing with some flood issues, but what about the valleys? Hydrologists and groundwater experts don't think we'll see significant flooding with this storm in particular, but they say that could change in the coming weeks and even the coming months. Ariel Harrison tonight, live in Murray near the Jordan River. Ariel, what are you seeing there? Well, this is one of the waterways we have seen flood in the past. Experts I spoke with today told me it's not just land near rivers like this that could potentially see flooding, but also homes near creeks that normally don't have high, fast-flowing water or even water at all. One woman I spoke with today told me the last time this river flooded her home, she moved away and never went back. I remember the flood that we had all those years ago. We were all thrown out sandbags. Barbara Richmond said flooding concerns take her back to a very stressful time of life. I used to live in a trailer that was right behind the, uh, the Jordan River, and my yard was flooded. The flood water damaged her home, yard, and storage shed. Looking up at the snow-packed mountains is triggering. There's a lot up there. Yeah, it's got to all come down somewhere. Yeah, it comes down too fast. Yeah, we have problems. In 2005, the Santa Clara River flooded in southern Utah after rain in the valleys and snow in the mountains during a drought year. We will never forget the images of those homes on the Santa Clara River tumbling into the, the creek. Jim Nelson is a hydrologist and professor at Brigham Young University. He doesn't expect flooding in the valleys this week. It's a little early for the combination of things that produce larger flows. Weber State professor and groundwater flow expert Marek Matiashik agrees and says it's the coming weeks and months to watch. Number of days with uh, a lot of rain and with still a lot of snow up in the mountains. And then we have weather forecast with very hot weather. That scenario played out in 1983, for example, during flood events in Salt Lake City. Both urge people with homes in lower valleys and near water to prepare now. I know in my community recently, they went and cleared out all the debris in, in the Hobble Creek. It's those kinds of things that are in the creeks and in these washes that tend to cause the problems. It's getting pretty warm pretty quick right now, I think. Well, that's got to come down somewhere, you know, we'll be... We're on our boats down State Street, just canoeing, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's sure hope not. Now, Nelson said since the flooding in the 80s, crews have built different systems to help mitigate flooding, like what we're potentially looking at. Um, if this all comes down at once, that would be put to the test at that point. Additionally, along with that, there has been a lot of new development here in Utah, especially right around Utah Lake. Both men urge people who live in those prone areas to make sure that they have sandbags on hand. Reporting live near the Jordan River, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News. Ariel, thank you. As we continue to track the potential for flooding, download the 2 News weather app to know about changes that are happening specifically where you live. Get updated forecasts and live radar right on your phone. The app is free and easy to download.